Locally, Rhode Island lawmakers returned to the State House today for the start of the 2024 legislative session. Long list of issues that they will be hoping to address this year. Jake Holter, live in Providence right now with a look at what the General Assembly will be working on in the months ahead. Well, Kate and Patrick, there certainly are plenty of legislative priorities that lawmakers have headed into this session, whether it's cracking down on drunk driving or providing free school lunches. Everyone has something that they would like to see pass. Now, one contentious for leadership is housing. House Speaker Joseph Shikarchi is eyeing so-called in-law apartments or accessory dwelling units as potential solutions to the affordable housing crisis. But Senate President Dominic Ruggiero is pushing back. Now, one of the biggest tasks for state lawmakers in 2024 will be how to balance the budget with less federal COVID cash. And it'll be a thin line to walk. These tougher budget choices will be all the more scrutinized with this year being an election year. Rhode Island is one of the states that made the heaviest use of all that uh, federal money. Um, and so we've been really relying on it over the past few years. Um, and now we're going to have to do without it. And one agency seeking a big infusion is the Rhode Island Public Transit Authority, which faces a fiscal cocoa cliff. Coming up next half hour, we'll dive into some of the other priorities that lawmakers have. For now, live in Providence, Jay Coulter, 12 News. In other news, new year, that means new challenges for Rhode Island's 113 state lawmakers as they prepare to begin their annual half-year legislative session. Lawmakers head back to the State House today with a long list of priorities. 12 News reporter Jake Holter joins us live outside the State House with what those include. Jake. Well, Kate and Patrick, some of these items no doubt are going to be focused on making things more affordable for Rhode Islanders, especially with this year being an election year. No doubt that some lawmakers are going to want to focus on affordable housing. And also last year, the Senate passed a bill expanding free school lunch, but the House never took it up. Others will be focused on safety. Multiple bills being introduced this year would enhance the penalties for someone convicted of driving under the influence. And after multiple failed attempts, Legislative leaders say 2024 might be the year they reform the Law Enforcement Officers Bill of Rights. But since it is yet to be successful, political experts aren't quite sure what those reforms could look like. The police and the police unions have a lot of power um, on Smith Hill. And, uh, you know, they are going to assert that power and try to prevent the most um, far-reaching reform. And other Rhode Island leaders have their own priorities for 2024. Secretary of State Greg Amore says he's calling for vote, uh, same day voter registration and Attorney General Peter DeRona plans to push for additional limits on guns. We have a full breakdown of this session's legislative uh, priorities on our website, WPRI.com. For now, live in Providence, Jake Holter, 12 News.